Welcome to the Mountain Mafia's Purcell Trench Ranch off-road entertainment venue in beautiful North Idaho. Today we bring to you the Tough Country Mountain Man course in round five of Mountain Havoc 4x4 Championships presented by Amsoil. The pressure is on and these drivers know that this is their last shot at a podium spot. Since this event is worth double points, anything can happen. A massive storm is brewing. The forecast is calling for heavy rain mixed with vehicular violence. Welcome to 2018 Mountain Havoc brought to you by Amsoil. I'm Ben Spinney and I'm standing at the top of the Mountain Man course. This is the hardest event of the weekend and it features double points. The competition's heating up with Brian Foss and Brett Harrell in a close battle to overthrow last year's champion. Weather's a factor and it's unpredictable today. We're gonna go to Mac Mills for more. Thanks Ben, I'm standing here at the Mountain Man course. This course is a quarter mile long and it has a little bit of everything. It's got rocks, it's got holes, and right behind me is the trench. This trench is currently holding water, but once the trucks go through it, it's gonna get gnarly and gnarly with more mud. They're gonna have to go up through it and then back down it to transition over to the finish line. I can't wait to see what happens here. Let's get this thing cracking. The Mountain Man course is probably my, gonna be one of my favorite courses. You know, it's got a lot of off-camber obstacles in it, a lot of mud, you know, different obstacles. Gotta carry some speed through it in a lot of spots and a lot of technical spots, you know. Um, I'm excited for it. Picking your lines is very important because if not, you just go in without a plan, you can get boogered up pretty quick. It'd be amazing to do well here to uh, make my family proud and prove that I can hang with the big dogs. The Mountain Man, yeah. It swallows trucks. It really does. Um, you got to be on your A game. It's worth double points. It's you know you can have good runs all all two days in all the other events and then lose it all on the mountain man. You got to finish races. If you're not finishing races, you're you're not going to be there at the end. You know you got to save it for the end. That last event's the hardest one, and uh, you got to be 100% at the end of that. And it's a long course and it's, uh, yeah, better be in shape, man. <laughs> if you want to make it to the end, that's for sure. First to run is Canadian competitors Jay Cooper and Charles Baird. Team Zero Drama Racing, the buggy's called Red Rum. Uh, this place here, man, it's like the Olympics of 4 by 4 Um I love this place. Like, I, you know, 500 miles, came back here, came here qualifier, come here now. You know, if I don't play, so I'm coming back September, I'm always coming to this place. It's like the Olympics for us, you know, so it's awesome. I want to start it, I had this great idea. As soon as that horn went, my brain just went off and we just wailed on it. Some spots, some spots we took smart, but we had the big advantage today because we were the first ones on the rock course. So everybody else is going to have lots of mud on there, going to have big problems. And then we just, I told Chuck just to hang on. Just had a great time. And Chuck finally got to finish in the buggy this time as co-dog and not being on the track, so it was gene early. But it's... There's a lot of guys now that are going to be watching me, so they're going to be wanting to go faster time than I got today. So, A solid run for Jay Cooper as he approaches the finish line. He survived the weekend in the Tough Country Mountain Man course. He has got to be very happy with that. Congratulations, guys. The 2018 Mountain Havoc Championship is presented by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, and sponsored by Max, American-made tie-down solutions. Warn, go prepared. And Mountain Mafia. Check out Mountain Mafia Entertainment on social media. Welcome back to Mountain Havoc 2018, presented by Amsoil. The Tough Country Mountain Man course is underway as the rain continues to pound down. Greg Torrey and co-dog Ryan McCarty of Team Barely Legal are battling this course now. Just like our other events, the Mountain Man is ever-changing. This year, the Mountain Mafia teamed up with Tough Country Suspension to rework this course into one of the gnarliest versions we have ever seen. 
With Mother Nature delivering heavy rain and due to how we designed this venue, a lot of that water drains directly into this trench. As the day progresses and the drivers continue to stir that mud, this track is sure to become more difficult. This North Idaho clay is awesome to build courses with and provides excellent traction when dry, but when it gets wet, it turns into snake snot. Sliding off of these steep walls and tipping over is going to be difficult to avoid. After an awesome weekend of competition, Greg Torrey finds out the hard way, resulting in a DNF. It's Chris Kaufman's turn to attempt one of the most difficult courses the Mountain Mafia has ever created. To finish, it requires a balance of strategy, skill, finesse, aggression, and most importantly, a vehicle that can hold up and survive five grueling events of hardcore abuse. Miller Welders and the a and Compressed Gases crew have been on site working day and night providing repairs and welding services to keep these drivers in the game. In addition, and one of the very best parts about Havoc Style Racing is how these competitors will help each other by doing everything in their power to keep the competition the best it can be. From loaning spare parts and tools to jumping right in and assisting with repairs. At the end of the day, they all share a common respect for one another in this sport, and it's as real as it gets. Chris Kaufman is unable to continue and gets smacked hard with a DNF. Here is Brent Harrell, the youngest competitor in Havoc history. He has continued to earn respect from these other drivers and spectators all weekend long. If he can perform well in this event, he has an excellent shot at a podium finish. The rig didn't have any problems. It stayed running and steering was good, so. And it was raining all day, so it was pretty slick up there, but managed to cruise through it, just like my dad told me to. Following his father's advice, Brent knows that all it will take is one mistake to knock him out of contention. Brent is wise beyond his years. He decides to play it safe through these sections that have already defeated two drivers before him. The V notches were definitely challenging because my face was right next to the wall and it kind of made me a little nervous. Now that I completed this one, I feel pretty good overall. Hopefully top 10. I don't think that I can do better than my dad, but maybe next year. Brent put down a solid performance all weekend long. It's easy to see why his family is so proud of him. Finishing with a fast time, Brent will sit in second place for now, right behind Jay Cooper. Welcome back to Mountain Havoc 2018, presented by Amsoil. Before we get back to racing, let's go to a tech tip with Sage and Leroy so we can check out some of the baddest axles around. We're talking tech tips with Leroy Latham. Now, Leroy, I noticed you're running axle techs. You want to tell us about axle techs? Uh, well, they're a nine-ton rated axle from MRAP military vehicles. They're a planetary differential. These ones here run 680 to 1. A lot of custom parts on, on these differentials in this rig because, uh, you know, not really much aftermarket support, but they're a really strong axle. These, these diffs have been in this rig since 2014 for Havoc, just because you could put a big tire on them, big power to them. Uh, you start getting rude where you hit the tire pits and the rocks and stuff and, and start launching the rig, you know, getting it off the ground. The, the housings are rated for nine tons, so, I mean, figure in shock load and everything, we're still barely, you know, breaking into what this differential can do as far as holding these rigs up. It's nothing. Here we have Jeff Noggle and co-driver Ricky Crook. These are two awesome Oregon dudes that do this just for the love of it. It's not uncommon for these guys to fist bump right in the middle of a course. They're having a blast this weekend. The Mountain Man course is awesome. This is, uh, this is the best course I've ever been through, hands down. It's Southern Oregon style wheeling. This is what, what I come from, you know, since I was 14 years old. This is the kind of wheeling we've done. And, this thing is just a monster version of, of our courses. So this is this is my one. This is the one that was the most important to me, obviously. But uh, 
I, I didn't know that we would I didn't know that we would finish it. This is definitely for the big boys. And that's what we came here to play with. When we when we flipped over, uh, I knew going through that one I had I had the tires on the high side and it was kind of a bad idea. I tried to pull out of it, it didn't work, we we fell over. The mud was clear up to my side, you know, laying in it and uh, my co-driver Ricky Crook jumped out and he says, uh, I, I asked him, you know, you want to, uh, you want me to get out and help? He's like, sure. So I piled out and, you know, helped him run winch cable while he, while he ran the cable out. I don't come here to be competitive, man. I come here to have the best time I can possibly have. Um, I could have put ag tires on my truck. I have a set at home. Um, that's not how I wheel my truck every weekend, though. So I wanted to wheel it as is, go play with the big boys. Yeah, I would say coming back to Mountain Havoc next year would, would definitely be a, uh, an option for me. <laughs> I would love to do it. Not the fastest run, but after a self-recovery on that rollover, they got to be stoked to finish. They're sitting in third place. Here we have John Martinson and the Ghoulie. John has survived the first four events and is off to a great start here today. The rain is still falling, and the more that these drivers tear up this course, the slipperier it's gonna get. Uh, so we started out, went through the first couple holes, and that went great. We had to back up, I think, one of the first holes since uh, it's been raining a little bit, and it started getting slippery, so I had to give her a little whoop how to get up through there. And then we were able to slither through all the, all the slippery spots, getting all the way up to the big rocks there. I was gonna go to the left to go around the big rocks there, but decided at the last minute, it's just hammer right on through them and it worked out pretty good getting through them and then uh, got oh through the big giant uh, step up there and uh, which I was pretty happy we were able to muscle our way through that and then got down to that notch right there and it, I know it I heard at the top of the hill it rolled a couple people over so it seemed like the more we pulled on it the farther it went over the wrong way and uh, we just pulled and pulled and tried rear steering it and all the fluids were dumping out of it and it just uh, oil light was on and my no power steering was left in it and uh, that was pretty much uh, the end of the story right there and uh, gave it our all, what can we say? I would love to come back to next year, just lit a fire underneath my butt. We're going to go home, take the Fiat, get it in the Ghoulie den, uh, you know, do the improvements we need to do to it, get, definitely get a stronger winch cable. That was a brand new winch cable we put on there from the Hill and Hole course. I was hoping it wasn't going to break, but it, it broke too, so I think we're coming back with some steel cable next year. Unfortunately, John couldn't finish the course. He catches a DNF just like a bunch of other guys. The 2018 Mountain Havoc Championship is presented by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, and sponsored by Tough Country Easy Ride Suspension Kits, Miller Welders, the power of blue, and by Send It Productions. Welcome back to Mountain Havoc 2018. We are halfway through the Mountain Man course and it's a complete mess. Here we have Tracker Bane and that totally custom orange Bronco. We catch Tracker down at Winnemucca, Nevada at some Oregon events as well. Tracker is always down to try to earn his way into this Havoc event like he did this year. Let's see what he can do on this Mountain Man course. Everything was going great through all the holes at the top, right on through into the rocks. Everything was going smooth and quick. We got into the rocks, we bounced off a couple of trees, got through there, came across the road, got in here, started having bad clutch control issues. I think I lost my master or slave cylinder in the hydraulic system. And then suddenly it was uh, bound up and had to winch to even move because I couldn't get it out of gear, couldn't use a clutch to push it in, and could not go forward because of lack of traction. So we hooked the winch on and pulled forward. This is my favorite course of all courses to be on here. This is the only one that I like saving it for. All the other ones, it's, it's big, big horsepower, big tires, and big uh, lead in your pencil. But we will be coming back again. Bigger, better, more horsepower. We gotta come back and make it at least through everything once. Tracker gave it everything he had, but he is going to be added to that long list of DNFs. More racing action to come, but first, let's check out a driver profile with Steven Montpass. 
My name is Steven Montpass, uh, 36 years old. Been doing this ever since I got my driver's license, probably a little bit before getting pulled out of the field by my neighbors when I shouldn't even be driving. It was funny when I got my first vehicle, it was just a little pickup and I was proud of that and some bad influence of my, uh, <laughs> my brother-in-law and then we ended up deep in the sport, just kept growing and growing just like the sport continues to. Uh, this one's a 1949 Willys buggy now. It's kind of funny because we got into this event and as soon as we found out we were back in it, we decided to build kind of a secret buggy which resembles our old one by uh, a lot, but this is a completely new machine with different suspension and, and it's just leaps and bounds above the other one to try to stay competitive. Uh, but it's a fuel injected 406 uh, and it's about 550 horsepower. We got a 150 shot of NOS that we're gonna probably throw at it a little bit. It took us three and a half months to build this vehicle, but I could tell you that it has been three and a half hard months and we've kept it a secret from everybody till uh, this event. So it's all all new, big surprise that we brought it here, but I think something like that would probably take, you know, a normal person probably a year and a half, two years to build something like that. But like you say, you say Havoc rigs. I mean, this has turned into their own class. These are, they call them Havoc buggies now. I mean, you might go to Ultra 4 and there's a different style. You'll go trail rigs, different style, King of Hammers. Everything's a little different, but now they're their own class. I mean, these are, if you want something big, bad, and nasty, that's gonna tear up the mountain and do all kinds of different events like we talk, uh, you better have a Havoc rig. I think one mistake out here, all these other guys behind you, they're gonna capitalize. So you need to complete each event and uh, you need to be towards the top and you know, five events, they stack up and then keep it all together at the very end for the mountain man because usually that's a few more points. Here's Stephen Montpass and beautiful Green Willie. Me and Steven met at TTC 2011, and we've been friends ever since. The beginning, it's been raining, you know, so we've been sitting here watching it get worse, but just coming to those sloppy holes, everything's slick. So we're coming down those humps, coming down into the big old pit up at the top, sit down there, and then we knew we had to get through the rocks, you know. I tried to walk over because those rocks are getting worse, they're slick and muddy. So after that, we knew that it's kind of our game after that. We wheel in this stuff all the time at home, so. We're, we're used to the nasty, wet mud, so everything's waterproof. Ran great, the Jeep did great. It's new build, super happy with it. Just pumped, you know, this is the event we've been waiting for this whole this whole event, trying to make up some points. We know some people were struggling, but we knew we had to push to get some points on this one. It feels pretty good, I don't know what the time was, but it's a muddy mess out there. I was trying to make sure my co-pilot didn't have to get out, so I managed to get here all in one piece, and he's still buckled in. Challenging portion. Trying to stay on the high side of those rocks and then uh, getting out of this corner down here is getting pretty bad. You know, we have to pop back up onto the top of the course, but uh, it took us two stabs, but we got it. Oh man, we're having a blast. We do every year, but even better this year. Next year, if you guys will have us and we get in, we'll be back for sure. Thank you. No, thank you, Steven. We had a great weekend racing with you and that was an awesome run. Second place. Here we have last year's champion, Leroy Latham. He's won more events than some of these guys have even raced. Uh, we took off right off the bat. We uh, hit the coffins up top, got through them no problem. Right out of the, the deep hole down there, I could hear my front steer belt squalling. Brand new belt because we put on yesterday, so it has no break-in time, and it went right to squealing a bit. So my front steer was pretty weak, but doable, usable. Got through the rocks pretty clean. Uh, got through the sea hole pretty decent. We popped right through it, especially there's some big old undercuts over there. So to get out of that, I felt pretty good. Uh, once we got up on top, it was pretty smooth sailing down here until we come around the, the corner and, and drop down into the into the last sippy hole here before you come out on top. And uh, somehow, I, I think we just got some mud and jumbled up. Alternator belt took out the rear steer belt. So that last bit of course was no rear steer, no no. Uh, water pump again so you know the, the course is sloppy super sloppy we've had nothing but downpour after downpour you know the first couple runs were nothing I mean it was all pretty dry and good to go and then it just been raining ever since so it's a sloppy mess it is really messy it is what it is we finished the course and I can't be I can't be any happier with broken steering Leroy is forced to crab walk over the finish line that was an extremely fast run, putting him in first place. We'll have to wait and see if that's enough to win the overall. Oh. 
If I got a top five finish, I think I'd be doing pretty good. So are you planning to come back for Mountain Havoc next year? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think we're done with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be back, dude. On a scale of one to ten for fun, this would be a, a ten for me. Uh, this, was, this was it today. I've been waiting for this for a long time. What's next? I don't know what we're doing. Are we going to throw in a freestyle or I don't know what we're doing. Maybe something, you know, the adrenaline's still going. <laughs> I said I'd never freestyle, but I say bad driving around the circles and doing jumps. <laughs> right on. Maybe it's a possibility. Who signed your shirt? False Hawk. Really? Mm -hmm. Is he your favorite? Yes, he was. Why is he your favorite? Because he mobs. <laughs> He mobs through everything, he never gets stuck. It's awesome. It's really cool, because I want to do it the same as the other guys do. With still more than half the field left to run, tune in next time for more vehicular violence as we conclude the Mountain Man course and find out who will be the Mountain Havoc 2018 champion.